enter the arena, the Don Juan Banks, the breaking news coming across my desk. Ronda Rousey career over rematch. Holly Holm after starring and filming two movies. Now, some people may be saying before we get in this video, her career is not over. But she said that if she doesn't win the rematch with Holly Holm, she will retire. Lorenzo Fatita, Rousey to film two movies, then return for home rematch on the line. Live. The best MMA analyst in YouTube today, today Tommy Razorstein. Tommy, before we get into this article, I know you have so much to, to say about Ronda Rousey. What do you, how do you feel when you hear CEO Lorenzo Fertitta of the UFC set give you a timeline? He says Rousey to film two movies, then return for a rematch. I don't think Ronda Rousey's ready. I don't think she's emotional ready, spiritually ready. Physically ready. There's a hole in her game plan. Her training camp isn't right. Her um, mindset isn't right. There are so many things wrong that came about when she lost. I mean, besides her um, physical impact that she took on her face. You know, that knockout was bad. Her teeth are loose. Some people are saying her, her teeth are out. And then they're dead. Back in. I'm not speculating, but you know, from what I'm hearing, I don't know if Rhonda can take another punch like that, can take another kick like that. How much uh, damage did she do to her chin? There's so many questions that came about, and you know, do you think that six months she'll be ready? No way. Absolutely not. She is not ready. She has a huge hole in her game plan. Her training camp isn't right. Her face is still beat up. She has to be able to overcome you know, impacts like that. She has to be able to take punches in, in sparring practice. She has to be able to not be scared to take a punch. That, that takes a long time. Daniel Cormier was saying that about Dos Santos once, and I was like, yeah, I think Dos Santos will be ready for Kane. I think he'll be ready. And Dos Santos was in an interview. He said, yeah, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll be okay. And he wasn't. Daniel Cormier was saying he's not ready. He's not ready to take those shots. You know, you wake up in the middle of the night and you, you know, remember those impacts that you took on your face. And you think Rhonda's going to be ready for it? No way. She's going to be scared about the angles. She's going to be scared about Holly Holmes' uh, footwork. A lot of things. There's too many holes in that game plan. And, like, I love Ronda. And I don't want to see her go out and get fucking demolished. And I hate to say that. It hurts me to say that. And I'm a huge fan, Don. I love the, the clinch, her arm bars, what yep. she can do, what she has changed. My mindset has changed about, you know, women fighting and everything because of her. So she's a hero to me. I don't want to see her go out like that, man, it's because she's not ready. Don't force her. Let me tell you something, Razorstein. You hit the nail on top of the head. That is the totality of the situation. Ronda Rousey, according to Fox Sports, still plans to film two movies in early 2016 before returning to the Octagon for her rematch with Holly Holm with the fight currently rumored for UFC 200 in July. Ronda Rousey still plans to film two movies in early 2016 before returning to the Octagon for her rematch with Holly Holm, according to UFC co-owner Lorenzo Fertitta. Fertitta told media members this week that Rousey plans to film the upcoming Roadhouse remake, remake as well as Mile 22 with Mark Wahlberg early next year. But her desire to come back and regain the title she lost in November is stronger than ever. I went out to see her in L.A., had some real good conversations with her. She is, as you would expect, very disappointed, Fertitta said, distraught to some extent. She never lost. She never lost a fight in the octagon. She never lost a fight in the street. She didn't know what it was like, right? 
she is she is campaigning to be back in there. She made also she made some commitments before the fight to make two movies, two movies. So she's going to do that. Then get back to training in the octagon. Fertitta believes Rousey return will prove to be the biggest fight in UFC history. And if everything works out, she will rematch Holly Holm at UFC 200 in just July at the new Las Vegas arena being built by MGM Property Properties. The rematch still hasn't come together, but Fertitta is hopeful that a deal will be done to pit home versus Rousey 2 as one of the headline fights on what likely would be the most heavily promoted UFC card, Tommy, of all time. It will be the biggest fight in UFC history, CEO Lorenzo Fertitta said. We certainly believe that as a company, I think the world will be interested in a rematch because it was a huge upset. So many people thought Rousey was just completely invincible. To see her get beat like that was a shock. They want to see if she can come back. We'll like to make that fight happen in July at UFC 200. We're still talking to Holly's management team to figure out whether that works for them. We should know in the near Future for Tita has no doubt that Rousey is 100% committed to a rematch with home next year. Despite her budding, budding acting career, she appeared in a trio of films over the past two years and also has committed to a bio biopic based on the book she co-wrote with her sister titled My Fight, Your Fight. She has options, but let me tell you what. Rhonda is the most single competitive person I've ever met in my life, for Tita said. If you don't think she isn't ready right now, she's plotting her comeback. I don't think anything can stop her from coming back. Razor Stein, you have heard some information that you've never heard before. I know a lot of thoughts got to be running in your mind right now. It's upsetting, man, that they're planning it so soon. She's not ready. You ever see those uh, highlights, um, the memes where – it's I, what who, uh, black actor. Um, I oh, forget his name. What movie? It's black? a small little black actor, very popular. Kevin Hart. That's his name. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't come up with it. Anyway, Kevin Hart. You ever see that little video where Kevin Hart says, "She's not ready. Yeah. <laughs> She's not ready." That's how I feel, man. That's how I feel. She's not ready. Don't do it. Don't force it. It's wrong. I, I, it's like that needs, little kid that's at the table. Train. It's like that little kid that's at the table, and you're like, uh, "Eat your carrots, eat your carrots," and they're sitting at that table. They're eating the carrots, but they really don't want to do this. I don't <laughs> know if Rousey really wants to do this. It, 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 you you indicated and alluded in the last video that we did. Tommy, that she could be giving in to the keyword pressure. I think it's pressure. And I think that she feels obligated mm-hmm. you know, to herself to prove it. But, she always felt that way. That's but you know what? Doing so many commitments. I would really love to hear what Rhonda's mother said to the coaches. I think they're trying I to really get her out of there know. because her, she's speaking sense. She's speaking common sense, and they don't want she's someone to speak common sense. And they're putting and yes people around Rousey, and they're doing a horrible job. I think there's something with Ronda Rousey's mother where she's hitting the nail on the head, and yes. everyone's saying, oh, we got to keep her quiet. We got to keep her quiet. So let's and, like, let her speak. Keep her out of the gym and everything. Goddamn daughter's life. I would love to talk to Ronda Rousey's mother. I think that if I talked to Ronda Rousey's mother, she'd be like, thank you. Thank you for saying thank what you're you. saying. Because, you know, Ronda is not ready yet. She Yay. needs to practice working into a clinch. She needs more practice in that it's field. Like that, that cake you put in the oven and, and it's batter, and, and, and you think, oh, man, I want this cake so bad. And you pull it out early, it drops, and it's still <laughs> – it's, it's liquidy inside. It's not done. Rousey has not been cooked all the way. She has not taken enough time off. She said in the ESPN article, Tommy, that it would take her three months to eat an apple. 
I know. Yeah, you know, Apple yet, but she could get back in the octagon. I know. It's crazy. It's it's. it's you don't want to see a beautiful woman like Ronda Rousey putting false teeth in her mouth. Yeah, I mean, what will that do for UFC too? If she has false teeth and she makes a bad, you know, video or she shows that image, people aren't gonna <laughs> like that at all. Human cockfighting. Human cockfighting. Yeah. You know how, you know, me and you talk about this subject. A lot of people won't even go into this. Now, you want to talk about your Joe Rogans of the world and your uh, MMA fightings of the world. And, and me and Tommy Richardson don't got nothing against any, any other entity. But Ronda Rousey, if she went up with false teeth, that would be the model that the UFC has done everything in their power to get away from which is human cockfighting. You know that animal rights activists, and, I, and me and Razor Stein, we love animals, okay? And animals love us. But you can go to jail for human cockfighting in the United States. If that is what is being perceived, people are going to look at the UFC as, oh, my God, these two people are in a cage fighting like cockfighting. And, 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 and Tommy, I have to be honest with you. And we we had we had spoke about this a long time ago with another fight. But you know, I'm not going to say this here because I want to be careful what I'm saying. But it would look uh, uh, it would people would categorize her comeback this soon in in the lines of human cockfighting. Yeah, I agree. I agree, and I hate to say that, Don. I have fought. Everyone, you have you don't you will fight someone if they say that. I have fought people and sent not fist fighting, <laughs> but <laughs> I stood my ground and I won't back down. I'm I'm not saying and I refuse to say that UFC is human cockfighting, but please don't make us look bad. Don't make it. Don't make this look bad because if Ronda loses her teeth, oh my god, and she smiles for the pictures, it's for the cameras. Oh my God, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna look bad. She smiles for the camera, and there's no teeth in her mouth. Oh my God, Don. I might make my mouth be. <laughs> you know I what love you? Rhonda too. Don't get me wrong, I love Rhonda. I'm a huge Rhonda fan, and I'm not trying to mock her at all. I just can't see her like that, man. Don't I can't think we don't like Rousey because they, they didn't get to see our work on the other channel and they just see the, these videos, Ronda Rousey, Loose Teeth, Ronda Rousey, these bad videos. And it's not that they're bad videos. It's just that this is where she – this is the point at her life that she is right now. She has taken a devastating loss. Fertitta says she didn't even know how to take a loss. Uh, she didn't even know what a loss feels like, which – is an indication that that is even more of a reason why she needs to take it slow. When you lose this badly, you need to take it slow. We don't want this to be an experience in her life that she she gets two back-to-back -back devastating losses, and that will end her because it seems like she is barely um, getting it together at this point, which is over a month now since the fight took place. Um, to, to go out again, to socialize. I mean, she's doing that slowly. But to rush and, and to get back into the octagon, which technically and statistically, practically, she cannot um, fill the holes in her game plan in this short amount of time. Would you agree, Razor? Absolutely. And what is she going to say? How is she going to you know, stand there with confidence and say yes? My striking is fine. I can strike with Holly Holm, and I have no problem. No one's going to believe it. I mean, she's got to say that with conviction. She's got to be able to make Holly Holm feel scared. Holly's not going to be scared. And what can she Holly do? Holm, she's she ready to fight tomorrow. Now, you want to take the bold statement. I mean, that's a statement. I'm ready to fight tomorrow. Her team saying that they would fight Misha Tate. Her team saying that she loves the fight. Now, Stephen A. Smith said on first take that he can see the game plan of Dana White of making Holly sit out for an extended period of time and interrupting her consistency in the octagon, which could lead 
to a more favorable favorable fight for Ronda Rousey. Can you see that? I'm sorry. Can you say this question okay. exactly? Stephen A. Smith on first take. He understands mm-hmm. that Holly Holm likes consistency. She does not like to sit on the sideline for six months. She likes to fight every three months, something like that. She likes to be consistent in the octagon. But she has to wait for Ronda Rousey at UFC 200 in July. Do you see that being favorable to Ronda Rousey? Because he said maybe that's Dana White's game plan. I don't see that at all. I mean, no, what we've been talking about, it's, it's completely obvious. There's no way that she'll be ready. That's why when I heard the question the first time, I'm like, wait a second. Wait, what did you say? No, no, I don't see that at all. It doesn't make any sense. Ronda would be ready? And that's the game plan? No, well, the game I, plan is to make uh, Holly Holm to sit, sit, sit home w- without fighting until July because Holm likes to be consistent. They say Holm performs the best when she fights like every three months. No, no, not, no, that's, that's, that's a terrible strategy. I don't think that six months is that sense. long long of a time to, to get ring rust. Uh, I think that's a good good amount of time. If you fight every six months, you'll be fine. I think maybe a year or so you would start to have some octagon rust. I don't think that that will affect Holly Holm at all. But Holly Holm is ready to compete now. Um, Ronda is not. That's that's kind of scary in itself because – Holm is re- could go out and fight Ronda Rousey today and whip Ronda Rousey's ass right now. And we're and they're basically saying, well, we're going to give you the July Ronda to be ready for her when she has to film these two two movies. And only, I, I can only I can only believe, imagine that Rousey must be looking at tapes and or doing some cardio or she has to be, pre- be preparing to some extent right now. Would you say, Tommy, she has to be doing something. She doesn't have no time. This was a huge emotional loss for her, too. I mean, she has to get over that. It's like getting dumped by your by your, you know, girlfriend or boyfriend. It's heartbreaking. All her fans were like, fuck you. You deserved it. Take that bitch. And like it was they turned on her. Everyone was like, you know, you know, oh, I don't like her now. She talked all that trash. You know, she got what she deserved. What? I mean, I thought that she was this new inspirational, you know, movement, a part of this new inspirational movement. It's, you know, that women are going to, you know, be just as as well-trained in combat sports as men and all this. But no, they all turned on her and treated her like trash. Ooh, man, that hurts. She took such a beating, man. I feel bad for her. I really do. And I don't want her to see her go and fight in six months when she's not ready. I'm even looking at this article right now that we're, we're going to, and it, it basically says, um, it says, manager, home offered Rousey UFC 200 rematch wants to fight sooner. And that's intimidating in itself if I was in Ronda Rousey's shoes that, man, this girl is ready to go now and I'm not ready. I mean, I would feel totally at a disadvantage. I mean, not only do, does she have to get over all of the obstacles. Excuse me. Uh, although she has to go through, despite have to going, having to go through all these obstacles, to be ready by UFC 200, the the Holly Holm chick is saying that I can go out now. No, this this, this is ludicrous. I can't I can't I, go I, along I, with it. I have to agree with you, Tommy. This is the most chaotic scene I've ever seen. We're literally watching Ronda Rousey's camp fall apart before our eyes. We're watching. It's sad. No, we're watching it's this sad. fall from grace. It's it's hard. It's difficult to watch, isn't it? It's very difficult to watch. It's very difficult to watch. And, you know, to be such a big fan and, and to watch it in front of your eyes, Rick, wait a second. They didn't prepare her whatsoever for the striking game? I mean, I saw some highlights, and I didn't get to do as much video uh, search as I could find on Ronda, you know what I mean? I'm over here in South Korea, so I'm just 
re, uh, relying on all the videos I can possibly get on Ronda and her striking is she can close the, the distance. And I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go on a limb and trust Joe Rogan. What he's saying about his, her striking. Cause I like Joe Rogan. And I'm going to trust her with her training camp because she's going to get the right people. You know, wow. Wow. I didn't think that they would have her so unprepared. They didn't prepare her at all, man. I mean, fuck, dude. I think I could do a better job. <laughs> I think, you know, in the videos, I was like, Ronda will win this fight as long as she can secure the takedowns, she can close the distance. Maybe, you know, she'll surprise um, Holly Holm with a low ankle or a single to a double. You know, I see her pr uh, training with some wrestlers. Um I think if she can pull guard like uh, Kane, not Kane Velasquez, uh, um, Fabrizio for Doom, you know what I mean? If she has to go against the cage and pull guard, pull a trick like that, don't chase. God damn it. I didn't think that she would chase like a bulldog. I mean, she chased <laughs> Betch, but Betch was trash. And I was like, there's no way that she'll chase Holly home. And her mother was like, you know, don't do that. Don't don't chase. You know, get that clinch and use that judo that you feel comfortable with. You know, don't go around trying to knock everyone out. And I think um, that was a problem with the the camp. And they're like, no, 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 let her go. Let her oh. let her hands go. She's learning. Oh. No, no, no. Yeah. It's UFC two hundred. We're 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 imagining here hypothetically. It's UFC two hundred. Ronda's about to go out for the first round. What is your advice? Oh God! And she didn't. She didn't do any training. No, she did the training. Let's say she trained. But it's UFC 200. It's July. She she she's she trained everything. She's going out for the first round. What are you telling her to do in this first round? All right, I brought in um, the best Olympic wrestlers around. You know, I brought in um, people, old people like John Smith. You know, to, to, to show a single leg, like just to bring in John Smith, a legend. You know, bring in Greg, uh, Greg Jones. You know, I mean, he's working with some people, and show that that single to a double. And I'm, I would tell Rana, okay, open up and start working that single to a double that we worked with with Greg Jones. Greg Jones is a great wrestler. I got to wrestle him, lost, but I got to wrestle him at least. He uh, lost three matches in his collegiate years in college. Only three. He was one of the best wrestlers of all time. He's amazing. So he trains uh, jiu-jitsu. He, he practices. He doesn't get in a cage, but you know he practices with, with all the guys. I would get him to work with Ronda on singles to doubles. You see Greg Jones' singles to doubles, they are beautiful. And that's what would stop Holly Holm. Chasing her around the octagon? No. I would bring in Greg Jones, and not Greg Jackson, Greg Jones, and work those single to doubles and cut off those corners. Don't chase and just you know, feel relaxed. You have the confidence now because you have that weapon, this new weapon. That's what I'd say. You know... I feel that Roxy is in over her head. She's biting off more than she can chew. She's taking this fight too so soon. Um, she would have to be playing at this moment right now uh, with this fight because it's only six months away. And six months goes pretty fast. It's just a half a year. Holly Holm is ready now. She's in top condition now. She's Her hands is where they need to be now. Her legs are where they need to be now. Her focus is where they need to be now. If she was ready to take that test in your class, Razor Stein, she's ready now. Your other student, Ronda Rossi, needs summer school for the same damn test. And you are somehow supposed to get Rossi prepared for this difficult test while this other student is waiting out in the hallway to take it right now. You have to take Rossi through summer school, and you don't got much time. And her trainer is inadequate. Her boyfriend is inadequate. Their training facility is inadequate. Her training is inadequate. We are watching literally, not figuratively, 
figuratively, the fall of a great champion. And her name is Ronda Rousey. And it's all because she's not getting the right education. She's not. This is education, Don. Right. This is education. You know when we talk about educating people, this is education right here. Mm -hmm. And she's not getting the right education, and she needs it. I mean, let's look at training as education. It's very, you know, same thing. She's not, she hasn't taken the right classes. She needs a Greg Jones single to a double class, and she needs to fucking pass the class. And if she doesn't, you know, she's not ready. I wouldn't put her out there because she needs that weapon. I don't know how she's going to learn it, but she needs that weapon so she can close that distance because she can't, for the life of her, you know, beat her in boxing. No way. No way do you goddamn fucking try and close the distance with her. God damn it, please, Rhonda, you know, if you can, listen to me. <laughs> Get Greg Jones, you know, and work with him on singles to doubles. He's, he's one of the best in the world. I would love to see that. Love it. And then she would be ready. If not, she's not fucking ready. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Razorstein, live from South Korea, the Don Juan Banks. Peace. Peace out. Peace. Let me give me one second.